Gentlemen, dear ladies, my name is Jack Septiguy, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Saints and sinners, hands and bruises, fingers and thumbs. <laughs> Where, what are we doing this time? See, I have a, I have a notebook now. I have it. I, I see it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here's the drawing to find the tower cache and retrieve the intel. Travel to Via Corolla. Oh yeah, we're doing that. I want to bring this with me, this time, because it's cool and I just want to use it, even if it's not. The most hyper-effective weapon that I have, I still really like using it. Ah, I- nope. This one. I want a badge. Thank you. And I want maybe another shiv? Yes. Oh wait! Oh wait, I had one. Oops. Well, now I have three. That'll do. Can I make a stew? Yes. C uh, come on. There you go, tracking. There you go. You work now, right? Wait, why is it not working properly? It's good. We're fine. All right, moving on out. We have to travel to Via Corolla. I... I can't remember what it looks like right now. In my... in my head eyes. But soon I will. Wait, I should eat that stew now, because that increases m max stamina. Yeah. I actually opened up my mouth in real life. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how involving this game is. I was actually like, ah, uh, I'm eating. The game can't sense if my mouth is open or not. Well, I can when I talk. Okay, cool. Now I'm glad we're actually making progress, okay? My bad, my B, I messed up and didn't do enough progress before. But now, we are going to kick it off and do this story. Which is great, because now that means we get to play more of it and keep the story going. Which I've been really excited about since the get-go. Oh yeah, this place. Um, Alright, so use the drawing to find the tower cache and retrieve the intel. Uh, okay, Jesus Christ, why is that- f Why are these freaking out? Uh, drawings? Intel location. Okay, so it's- it's by something labeled tower and then in the fountain left of that. I can't remember seeing this though. Maybe it's where the the blue building is. Also, is my character okay? This hand was freaking out a lot. All right. We don't have all the time in the world. Hey, the body's gone. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. People! Oh man, this is so cool! I love actually sneaking around in, in VR! Actually having to like... It really makes me feel like I'm there and I have to sneak around! That's fucking dope! Wait, what? Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good! I didn't know if you were good or bad! Oh my god, you have a cool gun! Hi! My name Jack! Pinto Beans! Ooh! Tasty! Can I talk to you guys? Hey, walk away and we won't have a problem. Oh, okay, okay, Jesus. I was just trying to be friendly. You find somewhere else to be. All right. Huh. Me been have an idea in big brain. What if I just lure all the zombies to you guys and you kill them? Oh no, zombie! Ah, what do I do? Dude, you want to you wanna get him? <laughs> Hell yeah, you're the best. <laughs> Hello! Want some Jack Daniels? Ooh, heavy drinker! Ooh! Frisbee! <laughs> Alright, so that building there is not tower. So it must be one of these down here. Oh. Normal boys. Normal. Hi! Okay. What? Oh god! They're fighting each other! Jesus! Oh! Wait, should I run? I'm just gonna let you guys fight it out. I'm not really picking sides. I don't know you guys from Adam. Holy shit. Yeah, your aim is about as good as mine was. I have a teddy. Should I be here? That's the tower. I need to go down there. Wait, are you going to 
gonna shoot me if I get close? A jerky stick. Hmm. Hello? Am I good to come in? I'm really scared. <laughs> Can I have this? Oh, they're saying beat it. Okay. Um. Got it. I don't want any trouble. I just want Red Bulls. Anybody got a Red Bull? I'm really jonesing for some Garana. <gasps> King County. See, I can kill with the best of them. Can you let me in? Dude, I hope some point later that I get a sniper rifle or like a silenced pistol. Could you imagine having to sneak around at nighttime somewhere here with a silenced pistol or a sniper rifle? That'd be so fucking cool. Hello, I'm in tiny boy prison. Can I come in? Oh, yeah! Are you able to get out? Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, I could melt that down for parts. Anybody got any medicine? That's a spoon. An egg timer. All right, I'm full, so I need to be careful. There, medicine! Hold on, hold on. I did not see this area before. Oh, scary. Holy shit. Do I have to fight these people? I know. Part of me. Oh shit, yeah, I have to actually get up. Part of me wants to leave them alone because I don't want to agitate anybody, but also for the sake of fun game mechanics, I kind of want to just start opening on people to see what happens. Um, okay, let's get some bandages going. Oh, could I? Oh, buddy. Shit, shit. Oh my god, that was so cool! Holy shit, I'm like Ellie! Yes! I hit him! Hitting them is better than not hitting them. At least I didn't waste ammo. What? Somebody shoot me through the wall! Shit, where did they go? Shit, are they actually gonna come in on top of me? I'm scared! Hold on a minute, I have an idea. Here's one I prepared earlier. Ah! Huh? Ah! God damn it! At least your aim is terrible! Got him! Oh, I got hit too though. It's okay, it's all part of battle. <laughs> I slid into position, did you guys see that? That was cool. Him. Yeah, baby! I like how I said, I don't know if I should shoot them, and now I'm in a full on gun battle with them. But you know what? Thus is life. Fuck yeah! Oh, I love that I can shoot through the tiny gaps! That's so fucking cool! No, you can't put a knife in a gun. That would be way overpowered. Shooting knives? No, you don't! No, you don't! Nobody's here! He's so shocked by the fact that I killed him. <laughs> ah, dang it! Fuck! Because I want to make the shots count. I have to really aim for the head. Otherwise, I'm wasting too many bullets. That was so cool! Ah, oh, shit, my loot's all the way over there. Oh, god damn it, how the fuck am I going to get there? Okay. Okay. Is there anybody there? Because I can't just run at it. Oh, shit, there's people everywhere. Don't get spotted, don't get spotted, don't get spotted. Just close your eyes and go. Nothing! Holy shit, I actually did it. Holy fuck. Okay, just get my stuff. Just get my stuff. This is easy. This is so easy. It's the easiest thing I've done all day. I should shut the fuck up, actually. Okay. Okay, cool. Nice. I can go through there, actually. This is a risky maneuver, but it's gonna work. Shh. Shh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Need to be ready. Oh my god, that was fucking amazing! Holy fucking shit! That was so cool! Here it is. Yes, okay. May Benoit has the bombs? Find him, get it. No reserve without it, understand? Mama's through fucking around with this. Okay. Snag cool. Ombra if you have to. And use the fucking brat as trade bait. This must happen. 
Going to have to expand this Who's list there? otherwise. Georgia. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. We're out. We outie. Fuck yeah! That was so badass! I feel like I actually went on a sneaking mission. Out of my way, bitch. I don't have a weapon. Bye. Yes! Oh my god, that was so fucking fun! Having to actually sneak through the base. And normally you get used to these types of games in third person where you can like scan the environment. Or even first person where you, you click on them and then you can see them through the walls and shit. But this one I actually had to like peek around and see if there was people there. That adds such a level of like tenseness to everything. And then getting that perfect bow and arrow shot without a reticle or anything. It feels so fucking good! Oh, this game's amazing! Oh, okay, I just gotta dump my stuff. Huh, these are sticky proximity mines. Or proximity explosives. That's fucking cool. Uh, I'll keep you, actually. Oh, I don't want to get rid of my sheriff's badge! Oh, I can't salvage it. Hell yeah, you go in there. <laughs> Whoa! Herbal medicine? Max health plus a hundred? Fuck yeah! I was just about to salvage that, Jesus. Alright, deposit the intel in the coffin? What coffin? I don't know what coffin. It has to be more specific. It's been a while since I got the mission. Oh, I can go through here. Ow! The light was off and the door was closed, so I thought I couldn't go through. That's a little silly. Um, okay, yeah, there's a... This is where I got the mission. That is way more familiar now. Okay. Sorry, Bonesy, you're gonna have a visitor. Magic coffin! Just gonna put that out there. I, know, I love doing that, like... Because my hands in the game are actually, like... Re <laughs> replicating in real life, like... Whoa! Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay, what now? Pass the time until the lantern is lit. Okay. Well, I wanted to go to sleep anyway, so... Hey, you there? Oh. Hello? It's Casey. If you're there, please answer. Wait, we... I've got a situation. We didn't get your name before. Please. Casey? It's me, Mario. Here we go. Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but I I'm getting you. desperate, so um, I I need to take a chance uh, on you. W what do you think? Can uh, can you help me out? Please? Absolutely! I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it. Bad. Problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help, w without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve in exchange. Does that sound fair? Yeah. What do you need? A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. Uh, it's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody. Quickly. Okay. I'm ready to do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the Tower Patrol has it at their camp, Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, reclaimed are nearby, so you might get caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Okay. Now, once you have it in hand, hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. You got it, buddy. Okay. Oh, I have two now. Uh, I kind of want to do his one first. Uh, but we have another one at the coffin now because the lantern is lit. Uh, yeah, okay. Travel to Memorial Lane. Got it. What should I bring with me? I have... I have bandages. I have stamina stuff. I have two knives. I... I think I'm okay. I think I'm ready to head out. Man, I love this game. I'm so into it. It'd be crazy if VR gets to the point where I actually have to like, 
run. They do have treadmills and stuff that they've made for them. It would be really cool to use that for this game. Uh, Memorial Lane. Okay. Red House and Memorial Lane. I need to look for something that's the size of a coffee maker that has knobs and switches and stuff on it. All right. You also have to actually kind of pay attention to what's going on in this, which I'm very bad at. My brain wanders so much when people are talking. Unless it's people in real life, I just can't focus. All right, let's get stuff as we're going as well. Red house, red house. This is a red house. Hi! Oh wait, it said that I had to... Um, speak to the tower lieutenant. Okay, is that you? I don't know. Let's see what happens when I get close. No Hello. one gets inside. Strict orders. You have a problem with that? See Jeff. He's around the corner. Okay, Jeff. Oh, Jeffy! Jeffy! There he is. Hi. Are you Jeff? You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. No, I don't. I was... Somebody told me to. Maybe I'm the solution. You know what? Yeah. You might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim. But he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. Hmm. You'll be able to stroll right in. Fun! After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. <laughs> okay. There's arms and shots. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Nice! Knowing how those savages operate, you might not have much time before they execute Speak them. to the reclaimed in the light blue house, rescue Anthony. Okay. Gotcha. You I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to go like this really fast, but it picked up the gun and shot it immediately. Ah, you got blood all over my good shiv. I really like that one. You fill up my stamina completely and then take this as full meds. Now my character is completely topped off. Nice. I don't know if this is a good idea. Shh. Oh. Hi! What's going on? Hello? Who the hell are you? The negotiator? Yeah. A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. Okay. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke. That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt where maggots belong. Uh oh. Uh, don't what try do? anything. This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is that? at fault, and he is at fault. Did the you tower do that? Preaches community, and yet. They toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful. Because they are a burden. Violet was never- No, 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 sorry, sorry. That's what I get for dicking around. I'll just stand here. This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful. Because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being. But this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out. Yeah, kind of a dick move. To die. She was 11 years old. Yikes! Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower, fuck, right now, and we won't have a problem. Then, we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever Ooh. is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. Yeah, I kind of like that one. 
Honestly, sending an 11 year old out to fend for themselves? Yeah, you basically murdered them. Uh, plus, I kind of want to see a war zone happen and be in the middle of it. I'm sorry, Hold dude. Orders. That's all I'm guilty of, please. It wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her exile. Put a bullet through that murderous Oh, wall. shit. I, I am sorry. Please. I didn't know I'd have to do it. What I did was horrible. I admit it. Oh, no. I regret please. my decision. You don't have to do this. Do it all a bullet through that murderous skull. Ah! I tried to make things right. I'm sorry. I tried. Oh, you did God. What you had to do, right? One less brain dead tower slug plaguing the world. I'm so sorry. Like I'm I think so it's sorry. It's time to put some pressure on these fuckers. <laughs> we it, but we have momentum, right? Yeah. The time is right fucking now. Oh, you God. With us? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Sure. He's up in Mars Bar. Yeah. No time like the present. Yeah, let's do it. That's the attitude. We've got this. Let's send the message that the future belongs to the reclaim. I just want to point out that that's a video game decision. In real life, I would not even be here. I would be much nicer and kinder about this. Uh, can I have a full gun ever? But I have to build one. Because people often take these decisions that I make in games and then be like, man, I wouldn't trust Jack in real life. It's a video game. I just want to see cool shit happen. <laughs> Ugh, bugs. I want to see them all like fight each other. Because I, I figured that it's either... I would have had to kill all those people otherwise. So it's either kill one guy or kill all those guys. And now they're all going to kill each other, so... I don't know. What are we going to do? Oh, there they go. He vanished through the wall. I don't know who's who! Oh! I guess I do now. I'm just going to wait. I'll help! I helped! See? Now they can't shoot me for not participating. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh! I'm just a bystander. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent, I swear. Zombies, you saw, right? I'll just take out the zombie. See, that I don't feel bad about, because they don't have personalities, or a soul, or a life anymore. They dead already. I don't feel bad about killing dead things. Find the pump regulator body, find the regulator dial, assemble the pump regulator. Okay, I'm just here to do this. Okay, time to find a regulator. <laughs> Whatever the hell that would look like. Everybody cool? Everybody chill in here? Hello? Wait, are you guys dying? Oh, one of them died. Jesus. Okay, how about we do this? Magic. You see? The power of a closed door. Ooh, crowbar. Hell yeah. I could be Gordon Freeman. Or Morgan Freeman, whichever you prefer. Uh, I don't need those right now. Um, ah! I, wait, which one is it? This is just going to my thing, right? Okay, whatever. <gasps> Dude! These are so badass! Okay, calm down, Mr. Light. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck, Jeff. I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Oh. I know this might put you in a tough spot, please. Forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our no. camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. Oh. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony. Oh, now I feel fucking horrible! Ah, you did this to me, game. You made me feel so bad. You made me sympathize with the little girl and these guys. And now that he's dead, you come back in and you make me sympathize so much with him. He actually tried to do the right thing. And now I'm the fucking monster. 
No, oh, God. I mean, I guess that's what The Walking Dead always does. It makes you... Yeah, fuck you. It makes you deal with the moral dilemmas of things. Again, it's a video game. I would think a lot harder about it in real life. <laughs> oh, I do feel sick to my stomach, though, now. Okay, wait, did I... I didn't get the whole thing, did I? Assemble the pump regulator. Okay. Oh, just like that. Okay. Should I do anything with it? Speak to Casey. Okay, we good. And now I can head home. Got it. Ooh, walkies. Uh, ah. Oh! Oh, yes! Disease walkers will lower your max health if you get near them. Oh! Shit! It's like poison! Fuck, dude, that sucks! Alright! I'ma head out. I'm, I'm all full on supplies anyway. It was good fighting with you guys! I'm gonna go home and rethink my life and feel horrible about the decisions I've made here today. I'll be seeing that poor dude's face in my dreams. Casey, I got the stuff! Uh... <coughs> you there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Yep! This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing and we can get it calibrated. Okay. The reserve is real. Goodbye. Ah! I thought I could go away and keep listening. I I'm back! Shit! The reserve is real. There we go. And you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. Soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I can help. Oh, whoops. Huh. Huh. Hold on, Casey. My hands are weird. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah. Yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. Cool. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing else to say about it. Okay. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. Yeah. <laughs> My character's dying. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the floodwater sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? Jesus. Uh, I would rather crushed. Starvation doesn't seem like an ideal way to go. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. 
And for me, a fresh start and some fresh fucking air. Mm. Uh. Okay. You haven't been up front with me so far. Why should I trust you? Because my life is in your hands. I can't get out of this hole without your help. <coughs> and look, hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is going to remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're going to have to work with me. It's a chance you have to take. I guess so. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Woo! It, it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist. Cool. Uh, nice! Making some decent progress now this time. Uh, let's put away all our stuff. Cool! Upgrade! So... Melee combat costs 25% less stamina. Fuck yeah. Ooh, what's this? Comes out smooth as silk? What? Can I get upgrades later so that... Oh, man. Takes 12 inches off the top. That would be so fucking cool. Oh, Night Shift is a weapon I can make. Comes out smooth. Smooth as silk. So maybe it doesn't degrade as easily. I would love just... Completely over-the-top weaponry. It's like mad crazy shit. Uh, okay, I need more wood scraps for that one. Uh, workable metal for that one. Okay, cool. Making decent progress there. Alright. Time to sleep sleep. Ah, goes down smooth. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here. That was so much fun. That first one where I had to sneak around the base and everything felt so badass. I still feel horrible for the second one. Again, the video gamer in me kicked in. And I, I just wasn't thinking. I was like, I just want to see what this game can offer and see how the AI works and everything. So the the into or the interested like video game coding animations and all that kind of part of me kicked in and was like, I kinda wanna see them go at each other and fight each other. It probably would have happened no matter what side I picked, and maybe it's bad either way. Maybe there is a completely good solvable way of doing it. I don't know. But whatever. It's the decisions we make. And I'm going to stick by them, even though I hate the decision I made and feel bad for it. But still, it, it added for some fun entertainment and drama in the middle of everything. Um, but really cool game. Man, I can't sing its praises enough. I think it shows in the gameplay every time I play it that I'm just so giddy and so excited. And what I love about it is that <laughs> I get to have like so much little improv moments. It almost makes me feel glad that... I didn't do main missions immediately because I got to go around and I got to figure out the mechanics and figure out how the zombies work and I got to dick around with them and make a lot of fun jokes and improv with them and role play, which is something that I've always loved the most about recording videos. It's nice to do stuff like start to finish, straightforward, do as the story mentions, but I really love the dicking around aspect of video games and especially in Let's Plays to make up little characters and little scenarios and mess around with it and improv jokes and... Talk about that kind of stuff, and this game is loaded with that, but when you do the main missions, you're kind of um, beamed into stuff more straightforward. Um, so I'm glad we're doing that now, and we're getting a lot of the story, and we're progressing everything nicely. Super fun. This is exactly what VR games should be. Um, not only the mechanics and all that stuff, but an actual proper story, proper mechanics, proper environments, proper characters, all of this kind of stuff coming together to make an actual game in VR. Most of these games that end up getting made are like, ah, we're kind of making a mechanic and then we have to build a game around it. And it doesn't really work, and that's why a lot of them are like wave shooters or have no story. This one is the whole package. This is, if I was to say to somebody to play a VR game first, it would be something like this. Like Beat Saber, Super Hot, and this are probably my top three favorite VR games. And Five Nights at Freddy's VR is pretty good as well, but it's still static and sitting in one place. Uh, this one allows you to move around and it's, it has enough horror in it that you can kind of tap into it and out of it whenever you want. Oh, so good. But anyway, I want to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching it. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date for all of the Walking Dead videos going forward. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>
It's a lot of it's a lot of tension. <laughs>